All right, y'all, I am back again with another monthly favorites video. And I know it's been a little minute, but trust me, I have been working behind the scenes. Definitely check me out on Instagram to, you know, find out some of the things I've been up to. But if you're not familiar with this series, basically what I like to do here is talk about my current faves of the month and not just in the space of tech, but also in the areas of like TV shows, music, clothes, whatever is my current monthly favorite is what we talk about. So this one's probably gonna be be a little bit more on the lengthier side so get settled in so let's jump into our very first product all right now y'all this right here is a MagSafe charger and I've been carrying this with me like pretty much all the time now when I go out. So this one here is 10,000 milliamps. I got it off of Amazon. I'm gonna link it down below and everything else in this video down below. But ultimately I love it because it's MagSafe. So it literally just, you know, snaps onto the phone like that. As you can see, it's not going anywhere. But the thing that I really like about this is the fact that it has a built-in stand. If I can get it, God dang, hold up. That doesn't normally happen. <laughs> so what you have to do is pull the tab right here and then folds down like that. Voila. So I like this because in moments where I may have been watching something on my phone at the time or I might have been FaceTiming and I could benefit from having it in this position, I can allow it to still get juice while charging. Yep, you can put it in landscape mode too. So this is my everyday power bank. And in terms of like ports and stuff, you have one USB-C port on the bottom, which is input output. You also have your LED screen here to let you know your battery percentage and then a lightning port along the side. Charging speeds and stuff are fairly decent, but ultimately with my iPhone 14, Pro Max, I wanna say I can get like two and a half charges out of this right here before I have to juice it up again. All in all, I love this thing. All right, my next favorite of the month has to go to the Google Pixel tablet here. I have been, you know, using this over the past couple of weeks and I like it, like, from the color onto design and fill in hand. And the unique thing about this for me, y'all, for one, this is Google's first tablet on the market. And the thing that I like and appreciate about their approach is that they add a useful function to your tablet while it's charging. So like, it comes with the magnetic speaker dock that you actually snap this on. And it basically then converts this tablet to double as like the display for a smart home speaker, which I personally like because it basically extends the way in which I can use this. I do wish that the speaker that it comes with could also double as a Bluetooth speaker. So it's not just kind of like a dud, so to speak, sitting there until I dock this on it. It can have some function in between time, but nonetheless, I love the fact that this can convert to that to, you know, give me yet another smart home speaker and display to interact with for my Google Home system throughout. Well, let me, let me you know, like if I'm listening to a song, I can just dock it and it instantly transfers. Overall, it's very responsive. Look, I can even quickly access my home app here from the lock screen. So I always have quick access to things like my thermostat and stuff like that. The one thing though, is that they don't have a lot of accessories for it, like cases and stuff like that. Yeah, we're still waiting on some more options, but nonetheless, I still like this. All right, my next fave, this iPhone case, y'all. It just looks so good to me. Like I, I saw this on my cousin's phone and I had to ask him where he got it from. I went on Amazon and picked out this one. They do have some other color options, but I was torn between the purple on purple look or the, what was the other color? Gold I was considering on this purple. I like the fact that it does have MagSafe built in. So we got that ring right here and it is textured, which is nice. You got some camera protection as well as covers along your buttons here. Like it's not one of those cases that makes the buttons a little stiff and hard to access. My ports are still very accessible and I thought it was a nice touch that they had this little cover over the speaker here at the bottom. But all in all, I really like this case. Drop protection is good too because I actually already had a little accidental drop with this one. <laughs> the phone was fine in the case. You know, we got a little scuff up there, but all in all, it's fine too. 10 out of 10. All right, the next tech item that I have been using a lot lately is these AirPod Maxes. Like, if you know, then you know that I tend to use my Bose and Sony headphones a lot. And my Beats, I use those a lot. But I haven't really tapped into my AirPod Maxes lately and 
These have been the go-to. For one, come on, they look good. But I hated traveling with these because they didn't have that foldable design like my Sony's did where they kind of collapsed into each other. You know what I mean? This one, I had to carry like this and most of the time I just didn't have the bag space or just didn't want to. I just always use these at home. But now I find that, you know, we're going places. So as of late, these have really been my go-tos. I've worn these for hours and found in terms of comfort and sound quality wise, uh, I love the spatial audio and I love the noise cancellation up here. It's actually really, really good. And cancels out a lot of the background noise to the point that like, I don't hear anything. In transparency mode, I like that up here as well because it makes me question if people can hear what I hear because I just hear everything so well while also listening to my music. I hope that makes sense. But all in all, I'm really enjoying these. All right, another favorite that I have really been enjoying lately is this. The Fujifilm X100V. I kept seeing pictures taken by this camera and you know, I wasn't gonna do it. I wasn't gonna get it, but I had to see for myself, y'all. I had to test it out. I'm still testing it out. I realize now just how deeply embedded into Sony I am because it's been a long time since I've had to learn like another camera system. So that's been a bit of a challenge for me, but the little bit of images that I've been able to grab from here, I've really liked and I love its form factor. Um, I do wish I was able to get the gray and black one, but this was the one they had in stock at the time. But all in all, I like it. I love the menu system up here. I also love how you can like take photos and not feel the need to like do anything to them. The goal is for me to use this as my dedicated photo camera, so I'm encouraged to take pictures more, just so I can have another creative outlet other than, you know, YouTube. So something a little bit more personal to me, and it's actually where I started. <laughs> Before I got into YouTube, I've always had a passion for like photography and graphics design so kind of taking it back to the roots I hope I can share some more words with you in due time but right now I'm still trying to even learn how to use it so yeah <laughs> this next one is not per se a tech item but definitely camera related and it's this card reader that I recently picked up I love this thing I love the form factor I love the transfer speed and how it's kind of for me like an all-in-one solution because I'm constantly losing my SD cards like I don't know if I take them out the camera and put them in my computer and don't put them right back in my camera I don't know they end up somewhere everywhere so this SD card reader right here should help me you know better keep them together so far it has been but I love the fact that it can store you know regular size SD cards as well as micro SD cards, a sim tray ejector all while still allowing me to like connect this to my computer so it gives me less to have to worry about to remember to take with me because if I take this then I pretty much have like everything that I should need transfer speeds though have been fairly decent pretty comparable to what I get with my MacBook so I don't feel like I have a loss there or anything but all in all I love this thing it's rugged as well so you don't have to be gentle. Definitely one of my favorites right now. All right, so as we're talking more about, you know, kind of non-tech items, one that really surprised me, y'all, that I just said I gotta put y'all on, is this cloth right here. It is a protective cloth for your tech. So there was a time where I couldn't find this lens cap here, and I still wanted to take this with me, but I wanted to protect the lens. So it's something like this that came in hand because I could literally just wrap it inside and it, well, you know, you gonna wrap it better than that, but it keeps it in here very securely, like, that is so nice, like the fact that it will provide a little bit of cushion in a very minimal way, but also double as a microfiber cleaning cloth for your tech. So I even had my tablet in here and, you know, wrapped that up and I was good to go. So I, I love this thing. It's a nice solution when, you know, you want to add an extra layer of protection, but also cleaning for your tech. But yeah, I'm gonna definitely be picking up some more of these. It covers a lot for me from my Sony a7S III to the Fuji camera to the Pixel tablet. So very versatile. Okay. The next little find that I want to chat about is this little jewelry holder. I got this off of Amazon and basically well, there's some jewelry that I wear on a regular basis are more than others and I don't want to have to file them away so to speak in my jewelry box. So this here allows me to access my favorite pieces a lot quicker and easier without having them like laid out on my dresser which is how they were before. Now I can just like swivel this open and access all the jewelry that I need. So you can kind of layer this the way you want. I love this thing because it allows me to keep my dresser a bit tidier and my jewelry at a easier reach. If you know me, you know I love fragrances. I love, love, love fragrances. And my latest pickup to the collection right now is Lafayette Street Bond number no. nine. Oh my God, this smells so good. I'm gonna throw the notes in this scent on screen cause I don't know, but I do like very light, clean scents, kind of musk, 
woodsy a little bit, but not, not too heavy on the musk. A little sweetness to it, those are my defaults. I don't care for like fruity scents or scents that smell like food. It's just gonna make me hungry or annoyed. But that's been my go-to lately. I'll use that either by itself or in combination with you know another scent. All in all, that one doesn't miss. This right here, to me, has to be probably the ultimate coffee mug. Like I was looking for a very specific type. This one delivered. So I found with my morning coffee when I put it like in a mug or whatever, the coffee would get cold mad quick. So I wanted something that'll help keep it warm without buying <laughs> the mug that has the heated plate. I wanted something that could kind of travel with me. And that's when I found this on Amazon. But um, I love the fact that you can sip from the side here. Or if I had like uh, some ice water or something like that in here, or just something different basically you can also pop this side but that's the one thing that the reviews have said and one thing that I personally noticed as well when you pop that side up you need to guide it up you need to like have your hand there to help it not fling because it will splash but that's the thing that I loved about it you know you had either sipping option and then this little thing here goes up like that to help keep it in place and then it has a rubber bottom as well so that you know it can better adhere to a table and not topple over and things like that but all in all despite that little mishap with the straw area i still would buy more of these and do still highly recommend them just you know be cognitive of that and now we got to get into my my like favorite category i love a good bag y'all oh my god and the one that i have been rocking lately is this one here from Bao. And I've had this bag for quite some time. They sent it out to me. They customized it really nice with my name down here at the bottom. And I've just been using this one a lot more lately. It's noted as their gym bag, I wanna say, but I kinda use it as an everyday bag. It's big enough to hold my MacBook in here, my tablet, like all my little go-to tech essentials I could throw in here comfortably. And then there's also this section here. So being it's a gym bag, this section in the front is technically for shoes, I think they have it pictured as. And this section here, I think they used that for gym clothes. But what I use this area for is, you know, for other things like, you know, water bottles or items that might be wet and stuff like that. But you do have a water bottle holder over here on the side. So, you know you technically have a dedicated space. And then you have a little pocket up here at the front. I took this recently on a trip with me and I pretty much stored my tablet and stuff in this front section with my camera. And in this section here is where I put the additional phones that I had on me. Lots of pockets in here. Even within this back section here, you'll see that you even have a pocket to keep another item separate that might be wet so that it doesn't wet up your other things. But I don't know, it's very functional. Great beach bag I see it as too, but right now this has just kind of been my go-to everyday bag when I want something a little bigger than a purse but not as big as a, a book bag. So, boom, we got the bag by bass. All right, my next bag that I have been wearing a lot lately. It is this one from Coach here. This is like a nice everyday bag. I just love it. I love the form factor. It actually holds a lot more than I anticipated. So we have the buckle front here to get inside. So you just squeeze that. Feels very nice and sturdy and premium. And um, once we get inside, you see we have two main pockets. So this section here, you know, you can put a couple of items. Uh, you can fit your phone, a wallet, or you can throw your wallet in this area, which is, you know, what I personally would recommend to put it right there in the front pocket versus the back pocket here. It's a fairly decent size. I love the minimal design. And then you have what they, coin as their AirPod case right here. But I just use this to put items that I want quick access to, like my hand sanitizer, or if you know I have some mints on me or something like that, I'll throw them in that area. There's even two pockets in there, a big pocket and then a smaller pocket in the front. You can also unsnap this so it's not on the bag and it's separate, or you can leave it behind and just wear the bag solo like this. I have been wearing this bag a lot lately. If you know me, there was a period of time where I was wearing my little coach sling all the time so uh yeah i try to switch them out every now and again because sometimes i get really onto a bag and i just it's just my go-to like i don't switch it out all in all that's a great everyday go-to bag all right now this next one are my sneakers i love bags sneakers scents that's me but the shoes that i've been really enjoying lately are the tiana taylors i saw these online and i haven't really been hyped hyped about a shoe in a little bit 
I think the last shoe that I was this excited about were probably the Fear of God California slip-ons. Like, I really love those shoes. But when I saw these, I was just, mm. It was the attention to detail for me, from the stitching to the colors to the design to the gold rolls on it. Like, it just looks good. They're super comfortable. Like, I wore them all day, walked around. I was actually at WWDC wearing these, so there's a lot of walking involved, and I was fine. So these shoes, to me, they feel as good just as much as they look good. And I love that, because sometimes you gotta sacrifice one. I love the touch with this check mark being different. It's not the same. So on this left shoe, we got the black check mark. It lifts a little bit down here at the bottom like that. And then on the right shoe, we got the red check mark with the lines. And love this, very, very nice. Um, and then it came with yellow laces, but I swapped them for the red ones here. But overall, 10 out of 10, Tiana did a thing. Now, a show that I have been on lately, y'all, and I'm late to the game, so, you know, it is what it is. But it's Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. It's a theme. Like, if a show is hyped too much, I, I just, I don't know. I'm one of those that's like, I'll catch it later. You know, or I don't catch it at all. I've been watching that, and I'm invested. Mm. I'm on season five right now, I wanna say. So many things just come to mind as I sit here and think. The the Red Wedding, though. Nobody prepped me for that. If you've seen Game of Thrones, you know what I'm talking about. There was a lot of shockers throughout, don't get me wrong, um, like with, with Ned Stark. Anyway, that scene though, that one, that one had me stuck for a little bit after. So yeah, Game of Thrones has been a show that I've really on lately and, and enjoying. So yeah, I'm gonna wrap that up hopefully soon, but uh, it's been taking me a little bit to get through it, but I love it, it's a good show. Now, if you know, you know. If you've been following me up here on YouTube, then you know how I feel about American Ninja Warrior. And it is back on air and I'm super excited, or I'm up to date rather. Yeah, I just love that show. It's a feel good show for me and I've been enjoying it. So it's been a monthly fave before in the past and it still is now because the show's back on air. So I'm tuning into that. Now, another show that I've been on that just has me like, <sighs> I don't know, I'm, I have to pause. It's Black Mirror. I'm a big fan of Black Mirror, you know? I've seen all the seasons, but this last one, I haven't made it all the way through yet, and I'm, I skipped around, so I saw the first episode. That one hit, like, came out the gate swinging with some stuff that I think we can all relate to in terms of, like, just where society is with technology and social media and things like that. To me, it bridged the gap between what Black Mirror used to bring, which was like, oh my God, I cannot imagine a time where the world would be like that, you know? That gap is getting smaller between what felt like it was so far off with tech to now feeling like it's right at the front door. I hope that makes sense because just watch the first episode the Black Mirror. <laughs> it was just like, wow, this is crazy. I don't want to give anything away in case you watch it. Just watch it. But the last episode of Black Mirror, yes, I skipped from the first to the last. I haven't watched the ones in between. Rather, I did start the second one, but it's boring for me. Like, I, I heard it's good. I just, I gotta be more patient. I haven't gotten into it yet. I don't know if y'all have seen it. Please let me know down below in the comment section if I'm alone here. But that last episode really disappointed me. Like, Black Mirror has really been centered around tech paranoia. Tech misused, or the misuse of tech. But that last episode was so far left. I'm like, how did we get here? It's supposed to go out with a bang. It's supposed to make you want to watch the next season. It does not. It does not. It's my least favorite episode probably of Black Mirror in all of their seasons. Let me know your thoughts on Black Mirror and especially that last episode. Drop it down below, please. I'm trying to think, are there any other shows that I've seen lately that's been a favorite? Would I even consider Black Mirror a favorite? It's a favorite despite despite the disappointment. Those are, oh, I feel like I need to open up my Netflix or something on my TV over here and see if I'm missing one. Now, music wise, oh, I've been kind of all over the place, y'all. Like, I haven't had an album per se that I've just been really listening to um, very heavily or anything like that. I will say I did check out the Summer Walker album. I like it. There's a couple of tracks up there that, you know, are like top of the list for me. I'm gonna just throw on screen here my most recently played music in Apple Music and Spotify, cause I do use both. All in all, I really love R&B, rap. That's been kind of what I've been listening to lately. I listen to gospel as well, but yeah, those are my three main genres I'd say that I'm, I'm on, but I'm trying to, feel, I feel like I've had music that I, oh, how'd I forget this song? Fly in a Boss? That song you wish has been on repeat 
definitely lately for me, like, I love that song. That one is real catchy. I like how they did the video. Um, it was very genius to me. But I just, I don't know, I see it taking them places and I'm, I'm just excited to see where they go because the song is so catchy and cute. And I love that they seem to be unapologetically them, so to speak. All right, I feel like there's more that I want to talk about, but I don't know. I feel like the video is probably already long enough as it is. <laughs> I'll save anything else I've been enjoying for the next monthly favorites video or, you know, I might mention it on like uh, my or something like that but nonetheless if you want to stay in touch with me uh, until the next video then you can always check me out on instagram tiktok and twitter at tech me out that's t-e-c-h-m-e-0-u-t i have some content coming y'all just a little pre nah i can go just just hit subscribe and like because <laughs> i got some more videos coming for you and i think you are going to enjoy them but if you have a specific one you want to see drop it down below for me in the comment section until the next one y'all as always thanks for taking the time out to let me tech you out